Welcome back to another Saturday demo. This time we're going to talk about benchtop power tools and dust collection. For a long time, I've connected my benchtop power tools like these sanders to my shop vacuum. And a shop vacuum works fine for that purpose when you want to connect one tool at a time to control dust. But if my shop vacuum is way on the other end of the shop or I'm in a hurry, it can be real tempting to just skip the dust collection and use the tool anyway. Well, we all know better than to do that. Wood dust is messy, especially if you let it accumulate, and it's hazardous to breathe. But connecting and disconnecting tools to a vacuum for every single use is a hassle, especially when you have several benchtop power tools like I do. Well, the way to keep your air cleaner and to make dust collection easier is to plumb your benchtop power tools to a dedicated system of pipes, fittings, and hoses, and that's what I've done here. Because now that I've got this, there's no excuse not to use it every time. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. Now your shop situation will be entirely different from mine, but the nuts and bolts of what I've got going on here can be extrapolated for any situation. And I think there'll be some takeaways that are bound to be helpful for the dust collection system you create. You could connect a system like this to either a shop vacuum or a 4 inch dust collector as I'm doing here. But Rockler is making this connection easier for me thanks to a new stable gate blast gate option in its Dustrite family of products. What's unique is that this fitting has a 4 inch port on one side that steps down to a 2.5 inch port on the other side. And this gate feature lets me open the airline when I want to collect dust and close it when I don't. Here I've got a length of 2.5 inch clear plastic pipe connected to the blast gate with this rubber union. If you've ever done home plumbing, you know how useful these unions are. They're just a soft rubber hub with two pipe clamps. And they let you connect two pipes or a pipe and a fitting of the same diameters or slightly different diameters. Just slide the hub onto one side of the joint, fit the other side of the joint into place, and tighten the two pipe clamps. And if these diameters are two different sizes, the pliable hub will adapt to that transition. Regarding this clear pipe, if you're creating a long dust collection system for your benchtop power tools, use smooth pipe like this whenever you can. It's a better choice than ribbed pipe like this because these ribs create resistance that restricts airflow. Smooth pipe keeps the static pressure up and the air moving. And the stronger the airflow, the more dust it carries away with it. Rockler's 2.5 inch clear plastic pipe is easy to cut with power tools or a hacksaw. Here I'm mounting it to my cabinet back using Rockler's plastic hangers that are designed to work with this pipe. Well, my disc sander and my belt sander have the same 2.5 inch dust port size, but my spindle sander has a different smaller size. So in order for this plumbing system to service all three machines, I had to split the airflow. And to do that, I'm using this Y fitting connected to the pipe with this 2.5 inch coupling. This plastic coupling fits two pipes or a pipe and a fitting with the same outside diameters. It just friction fits into place. To hold the Y in position, I drove a few short sheet metal screws through the coupling into both the Y and the pipe, and I installed another hanger bracket over here. At this point, I was ready to hook up my spindle sander with the smaller dust port size, and to do that, I used Rockler's FlexiPort Power Tool Hose Kit. It includes a 12-foot length of ribbed hose that you can cut to any length you need, four of these soft rubber tool adapters in different sizes, and a fitting that lets you attach it to a two and a half inch dust collection system or a shop vacuum. The various components simply reverse thread onto the hose to create secure connections. Once I had my flex support hose made up, I could plug one end into the spindle sander and the other end into the Y fitting. That takes care of connecting the spindle sander. And now for these two sanders with matching two and a half inch dust ports. For them, I'm using a length of Rockler's clear ribbed two and a half inch hose with swiveling hose adapters on each end. Here again, you can cut this hose to any length you need. The swiveling adapters friction fit into the ends of the hose and they're held in place with a couple of hose clamps. My plan is to just plug this hose into whichever sander I need to use. The hose adapters just friction fit 
into the tool ports. This system of mine is just a little example of what can be done to plumb benchtop power tools for dust collection. And I've only shown you a handful of the accessories that are available. But Rockler has a huge inventory of fittings and adapters to suit most any dust collection system you can imagine. And you can learn more about those options at rockler.com or by visiting a Rockler store near you. But I hope this has been helpful to get you started thinking about your own customized system. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and thanks for watching.